John's a big Tiger supporter. He just got solar power installed. He used to spend $600 per quarter on power, but with his new bill plus Metro Solar Easy Payments, he's saving $169 per quarter from day one. That adds up to $88,000 after 25 years. So no, John can't own his power company, but he can own his solar system. 20 past eight, RSN Breakfast, Michael Christian, Mick Wan and Barry Hall with you. And our special guest was a star for the Tigers on Saturday in their big 113-point victory over the Giants, Sean Hampson, the big ruckman. G'day, Sean. Well done, mate. G'day, boys. Cheers. Thanks for having me. Is that your best game for the Tigers? Yeah, yeah, I think by far. It's sort of, um, yeah, most of I've contributed to a Tiger win, so um, yeah, I was, I was pretty happy. Did you enjoy the responsibility of being the number one ruckman and taking on Big Shane Mumford? It was a tough task, but you did a great job. Yeah, I did, and you know, the club put it on me before the game that you know they they wanted a big one out of me because um, obviously Mummy's one of the one of the best in the comp, but um, you know, at the same time, the Big Mummy hadn't played for six weeks, so I didn't get Mummy at his best, but um, that was probably probably lucky for me. Now, big fella, surely you're going to get Jack Rewalt to talk about game style every week. Mate, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to do with Jack. I don't think any of us do, but he let him do his own thing sometimes. And, yeah. How good was he? He was terrific, wasn't he? Mate, I, I remember thinking out on the ground, it's just like he, he, he couldn't do anything wrong. It's just you kicked him the ball, he marked it, he kicked straight. He was just... Um, Mate, he was having one of those days, and he was just—he was on fire. That's a great result, considering he kicks eleven, and he was the 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 star on the day. But Griffiths and Vickery, two other tools in that area, contributed to the scoreline. When you get that three functioning together as a team within the team, you can kick winning scores. Yeah, that's it. I mean, you know, there's obviously a lot of debate about three tools in a forward line, and um, sometimes it can work, sometimes it can't work. But um, it, it, you know, it worked really well for us on the weekend. And as you say, when all three are up and going, I mean. Uh, makes it very hard for, for an opponent back line. You're a bit stiff to be nudged out, best of field. Jack Rewalt kicking 11 goals is pretty hard to top, but Dusty Martin was fantastic. 36 possessions. He's taking his game to another level. He's more consistent now, isn't he? Yeah, he's much more consistent, and I think that's what the club really wanted out of him. Um, you know, he's, he had a great pre-season. He trains, he trains well every week, and he seems more um, settled uh, off-field as well, but um, he's another one, mate. It's just, you know, when, when he gets the ball... You just you've got so much confidence in him the same way when when you kick the ball to Jack. Is that because of his fitness has improved, Sean, to stay consistent in games? Um, well, not being at the club last season, I'm sort of not too too sure about his fitness. But I know his fitness. You know, the boys have been talking about his fitness level this year and said it's you know it is it is better. But um, I think you know he's, he's he's sort of put his head down a bit more and he's um, yeah putting putting more effort into his games as well. I think. He's a star. There's no doubt about that. But I suppose when you get Deludio and him getting 30 plus possessions, it's ominous signs Alice, for the Alice opposition. One. And Alice that's the one I was going to put on the table, Sean. Young Brandon Ellis. We've seen him do some defensive roles early in the year. He knocked over. Um, uh, who did he knock over early in the year? He kept. Oh, Bryce Gibbs done a magnificent job on him. But also yesterday he had 31 possessions. He's adding more components to his game every week. Yeah, he does. And you know that. Um Defensive side of his of his game was maybe something he had to work on a bit, but as you say, took taken down, you know, an elite midfielder and, and winger in Bryce Gibbs. But um, yeah, mate, he's a, he's an elite runner and he's he's one of the best at the comp and he could he could run with anybody in the competition. So um, yeah, you know, he's, he's he's realised that I think and he's um he's always been willing to do whatever the team needs him to do. Sean, uh, Dan Jackson was was subbed out of the game. Uh, how's inj- his injury? I don't think it's too bad from mm-hmm. sort of all reports. It's just a just a bad cork. He had a couple of stud marks um, right on the right on the spot. He was sore, so hopefully he sort of spent some time icing it all week, and I think he'll be right to go. Sean, do you prefer to be a ruckman or do you like being a key forward? Um, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know to be honest with you. I mean, through my whole career, I've sort of I've I've been throwing forward. I've been throwing ruck. I've I've had the fifty fifty role. Um, at the end of the day, I'll, I'll do whatever the team needs me to do and um, try to do it to the best of my ability. Um, I do like playing in the ruck and you know being that number one go-to guy, but um, Tigers sort of got me to play that sort of ruck forward role and I haven't had a chance to do that this year, so I'm sort of maybe looking, looking forward to doing that later in the year. Now, Sean, a lot changed in your life over the last six months. New club, uh, new baby arrived. Uh, I just wondered if the baby was due to come on around game time, would you have um, still played? Oh, I think I would have. Uh, 
I was lucky it came when it did, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he didn't have to make the call. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's always a tough call to make, but I think sort of the birth of your first child, I, I, just, I just couldn't miss that. Easy to say that now, though. You didn't have to make that decision. How, how, is, uh, how is mum and baby? Yeah, mum and baby are great. Um, yeah, Little River, he's sleeping, he's sleeping well, he's feeding well, and that's, that's about all he does right now. But, um, yeah, um, everybody's getting plenty of sleep, so hopefully it carries on that way. Absolutely, that's the most important thing, mate. Uh, now, a big challenge uh, coming up for your football club. You've got some challenging games ahead. Uh, this week is a game you should win. Tell us about the mindset, about perhaps getting and winning the next couple and at least getting back into the season. Yeah, that's it. We haven't had the start um, start that we particularly wanted, but um, we've right now we're sort of looking um, at the rest of the season, sort of blocks of four games, so... Um, you know, we want to win one of those blocks of four games and um, obviously a tough one on the weekend, but uh, it'll be my first sort of first sort of dream time match. I'm looking forward to it. It is a massive block you're talking about, isn't it, Sean? You've got Essendon, massive crowd you'd expect. Can Essendon sort of recharge after their bye? You had a good win last weekend. Then you've got North Melbourne at Eddie Had, Fremantle at the MCG and Sydney at the MCG. So them next four weeks, they could certainly determine your season. Yeah, they definitely could, and it's it's you know a tough four four weeks. But um, you know if you, if you want to be in the top eight, then you've, you've got to beat these teams. So it'll be a really good challenge for us. Good on you, Sean. Great to have a chat. Well played on the weekend, mate. A great win. Cheers, boy. Thanks for having me. Sean Hampson there, starring for the Tigers in their big win over GWS. Now at a critical stage. <laughs>